Hello, many of you know me as Plasma Engineer and today I wanted to discuss with you the origin or how it came about that Plasma is called Plasma. I was curious about that myself, I remember and I always tell the story that Plasma is called Plasma after Blood Plasma. Matter of fact, in my first publication on the subject, Blood Coagulation and Living Tissue Sterilization by Plasma, I mention that the term plasma, commonly employed in physical sciences for ionized medium, originally stems from the biological and medical fields, claims Greg. This term is often attributed to Irving Langmuir, who used to capture lifelike appearance of electric discharge in gas phase and its similarity to electrolyte fluids like blood, which consist of many ions charged in neutral molecules and dipoles. So blood plasma and electric plasma are both complex ionic fluids, claims Greg. Where did Greg get this from? I actually don't remember. Somebody must have told me and I didn't put a reference here. My sincere apologies. This has been about almost 15 years since I wrote this. So I looked in Wikipedia and interestingly, Wikipedia claims that plasma was first described by chemist Irving Langmuir in the 1920s. I doubt it's the first time plasma was described. I think it was when it was named. So Googling Dr. Langmuir's papers from the 1920s, I didn't find much, not at first. So he has a patent publication filed in 1924, granted in 1926, high frequency apparatus and method of heating. And this has no mention of plasma. It talks about electric discharge, no mention of plasma. His next publication is also a patent filed in 1922, granted 1929, electrical discharge device. So it is a plasma generating device that doesn't say plasma anywhere in the world. There is a publication around the same time by Dr. Langmuir in the Proceedings of National Academy of Sciences, published in 1928. So we're in the late 1920s already. And this paper, referencing his work with Dr. Tonks, this will be important later on, because Dr. Tonks claims that he was part of this work, so claim is confirmed. So the paper says, Near the electrodes, where there are sheaths containing very few electrons, the ionized gas contains ions and electrons in about equal number, so that the resultant space charge is very small. We shall use the name plasma to describe this region containing balanced charges of ions and electrons. Ha ha! So this is the first time the word plasma was used to describe electric discharge. By the way, just a total side note, a little bit of interesting information. I just Google image search plasma sheath. So plasma sheath is that small thin region between the plasma generating electrodes and the plasma itself. And it's relatively easy to observe in low pressure discharges. There is a nice video here on YouTube. And of course, I will link all of these papers and this video below in the description. You observe this uh, dark area in the discharge. So this is called plasma and this is called sheath. Let's take a look at the video. This is a low pressure plasma like a neon light and you observe this sheath area and the plasma itself. So this is the first time plasma was mentioned. And interestingly, in Dr. Langmuir's next paper from 1929, just a year later, a general theory of the plasma of an arc, it's plasma, 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 plasma. So in this lengthy paper, if we look for occurrence of the word plasma, we'll find 207. So in one year, it goes from being mentioned once we shall refer to this area as the plasma. Now it's mentioned 207 times and the world picks it up, but it never mentions how they came up with the term. I started digging a little 
deeper and the best they could do is go back and actually read the whole Wikipedia article and looking at it ah right there there's a history section the term plasma was introduced as a description of ionized gases by Irving Langmuir in 1928 reference 16 oscillations in ionized gases well that's the paper I was reading yes that is where the term was introduced okay now Louis Tonks and Harold Mott Smith both of whom worked with Irving Langmuir in the 1920s recall that Langmuir first used the word plasma in analogy with blood here we go so let's find that paper and there is a very nice publication from 1967 the birth of quote plasma end quote by Dr. Louis Tonks the origin of the plasma of gaseous electronics need not be mythological the author was there I love this abstract what uh, I'll, I'll link this down in the description so in this short communication Dr. Tonks talks about how the term came about so he does claim that he was working with Dr. Langmuir and Dr. Langmuir claims that Dr. Tonks was working with him so this is fully confirmed very nice and this paper confirms that the first use must therefore have been the manuscript of oscillations in ionized gases published in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences that's the one we just looked at excellent excellent so it's all coming together now the story Langmuir came into my room in the General Electric Research Laboratory just imagine being there in Schenectady, New York in 1920s. GE was already there and they were inventing things that now create our cell phones, our cars and our airplanes. Sir Langmuir said, say Tonks, I'm looking for a word. I don't want to invent a word, but it must be descriptive of the kind of region as distinct from the sheath. So they had the name for the sheath. They didn't have the name for the glowing area. And they wanted to come up with some word. This is where histories are made. Dr. Langmuir asked Dr. Tongs, what do you suggest? And Dr. Tongs, instead of making up a name, here's your chance, man. Here's your chance. Call it the blue light, the blue area, something and you will be the one who named it but he said hmm let me think about it I'll get back to you and instead next day Langmuir breezed in and announced I know what we'll call it we'll call it plasma how he came up with it uh, maybe you know people recall maybe he mentioning blood I like this analogy you know, blood plasma is ionic fluid plasma is frequently described as a fluid like phenomenon containing charges so I see the similarity but I only see those similarities because Irving Langmuir gave it a name so this is fascinating for me the brilliance of that man lasted through the ages and today we have plasma TVs plasma cutters plasma welders plasma 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 and it's all named by Dr. Irving Langmuir. Plasma became far more complex. Blood became far more complex than they were then. And yet we still keep using that same name. This is wonderful, very inspiring. I hope you found this video interesting and I'll try to come up with some other interesting papers to review in the coming weeks. I do try to publish this at least once a week usually I have time for this on Saturdays and Sundays so please subscribe and click the little bell icon so you get notified when the next one comes out thank you thank you and always please leave your comments down below I do read everything they're very helpful thank you very much